Charles Zinnerlin once reported that Muhammad al dara and his father Jamal were targeted by Israeli forces during a skirmish with Palestinians at the Netzarim Junction on the Gaza Strip. Zinnerlin was not present at the time, however cameraman Tala Abu Rama was on this day, September 20th of 2000. The report would fall under harsh ridicule as Zinnerlin would later refer to the footage as a cultural prism, stating that its viewers see what they want to see and the Israeli Defense Forces, whom hastily accepted responsibility only three days after the shooting, would formally withdraw this position in September of 2007. What do you see when you look at the still image from the footage? Do you see the bolt holes in the wall only a couple feet from the man and child? Their round and deep penetration suggests that the bullets struck the wall at a right angle, and from an area no Israeli forces were thought to be. Jamal grabs his son's arm and shields him against his body. Disputes whether the child was actually shot and killed would later rise from the media frenzy that surrounded the footage. Speculators would paint Muhammad and Jamal as actors in an elaborate hoax, while others would view the pair as martyrs. It's also been outlined that Muhammad and Jamal were just civilian casualties who were in the wrong place at the wrong time. In this still, Jamal grabs his son, as though holding him tight would protect him from the bullets. The terrified expression on his face suggests that whatever plot may have been going on, he had little knowledge of it. Palestinians present that day would be ridiculed for the staging and the killing of the boy in order to paint their Israeli opponents as heartless murderers. Israeli forces still receive accusations for the shooting, despite visual evidence suggesting that the gunfire did not come from a location as to which Israeli forces were located. Charles Zinderland would be all but ruined by his hasty report, that of which it turns out he knew very little about. As little or as no evidence has been collected since the shooting, and the destruction of the very wall behind the pair took place only a short time after the skirmish, it's not likely that we'll ever know exactly what happened on that 30th of September. The light passing through this prism, like any other prism, is scattered and cannot be focused into a point, and the angle as to which every bit of information is analyzed will only tell us the opinion of the onseer.